Are you on the list? The Twitter list? Twitter lists are a unique feature that allow Twitter users to create lists of other public Twitter users and then share those lists with other users. Users can subscribe to those lists and then receive the tweets from everyone on that list all in one place. Lists can be a great way to build followers, either by being a member on a popular list or by creating your own valuable lists that other users subscribe to. But manually curating and building new lists can be a very tiresome and time-consuming process. Fortunately though, Twitter offers a very easy to use API that lets us scrape things about lists, such as all the members of a list or which lists a person is a member of. It's very easy to get the members of a list. We just need to get the list ID and Twitter will give us back up to all 5,000 members of a list in one simple API request. No pagination required. And they give us a lot of information about the people on that list back, including their username, their profile, which sometimes contains an email address, when the account was created, some URLs they may link to, and we also get information about their most recent tweet so we can learn a little bit about what they tend to tweet. So if you listen up, I'm gonna show you how to use this API to do things like copy lists from one account into your own account, which a lot of you have asked me for. And I'm also gonna show you how you can use it to help you build your own custom lists by scraping public memberships of other popular accounts lists. As a disclaimer, I'm going to be demoing using the Steve C data platform, which is a paid platform that I own. It's only a client though. You can do all of this with your own code or with Postman or whatever. So you're free to watch the video and take the concepts you learn here and go and use whatever tool that you wanna use. So let's start with a practical example and say that I want to copy a list from another account into my own account to use for my internal resources, like a list of all my competitors from another list that I've been placed on. So let's say I want to scrape the other users who are on this highly selective list I've been placed on. I just copy the list ID from the URL of the list I want to scrape the members from. And here I'm going to use this Steve C API wrapper around Twitter. And I just paste in the list ID as well as my Twitter bearer token and I execute the endpoint to get up to all 5,000 members back. Here I got back out 845 and I can download them all as a CSV file. I'm not gonna show that CSV file out of respect for the Twitter developer policy, but I can show you the screen names here. And I can click this save as collection button and Steve C will parse these out into a big list of screen names. And I can copy this big list and I can create my own Twitter list of these, basically a copy of the list I scraped from and keep track of my competitors this way. So how am I gonna build this list of mine? Well, I created an empty list, but there's no one in it. So I can click edit list and then manage members. And then I can go to suggested and manually type in every single screen name and then use the interface to add them one by one here. There's no place in the Twitter interface to add everyone from one list into another list, unfortunately. Or I could go to each list's profile and then manually click the dot 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 button and then add remove from list and add them that way, but that would take forever. But with a little help from the Twitter API, we can actually create our list using automation. We simply need a comma separated list of all the members like we collected just now and the list ID. So we can make a post request here to this create all endpoint and give it the list ID and then a list of all the users we want to add to that list. One thing to note though is that your bearer token needs to have authentication relating to the logged in user that owns that list. So if you're just using an app token, this won't work. If you want to go into OAuth, you need to check the Twitter docs there. I don't have any videos on that, but let me know in the comments if you have trouble. So here I'm gonna go back to my list and then construct a request and give it the list ID, which I can get from the URL here of my competitors list, which is empty, and then paste it in here. Next, I need to give it screen name equals, and I'm gonna use a trick in Sublime Text where I can hold down option and select everything vertically and then just insert a comma here this way. And now if I were to execute this full request with a bearer token for my account, I would theoretically add all of these users to my competitors list. But let's say I wanted to build a more useful list meant for the public to subscribe to, like let's say I wanted to build a list about popular dog accounts. 
Well, I could do this the manual way and search for dogs and then look for tweets containing dogs and add those respective users. Or I could go and filter by people and then pick the users that post about dogs, such as this account. We rate dogs. Then I'd have to go and manually add them to my list and repeat this process over and over and over. Or I could do something a little bit more clever and check out any lists related to the dog rates account. So they don't have any lists, but they're on a lot of lists. So I essentially want to build a list similar to these lists. And I ideally want to find the lists with a lot of subscribers. But unfortunately, I have to click into each list to see the subscriber count, or here they call it follower count on web, zero followers. So I only care about the lists that have a high number of followers, but it would take me forever to figure that out just by scrolling here. Fortunately though, the Twitter API lets me also get this by API requests where I can get all the lists that a specific user is a member of and I'll get a lot of information back about each list and the response, including the subscriber account. I simply need the screen name and this is a paginated API endpoint, which means that to get over a thousand or so results, I need to pass around this pagination cursor, making it a bit of a pain because most of the time I would have to write custom code to go and figure out the pagination cursor and then pass that back along to get the next page of results and so on. And if you'd rather not do that and reinvent the wheel, you can check out the CC data workflow for the list membership endpoint here. So all you have to do is put in the username of the account you want to get all the list memberships of, and it'll take care of this pagination for you so you can easily scrape thousands of lists in a matter of minutes. So here the magic happens with this self extractor it automatically gets back the next cursor from Twitter and passes it along to the subsequent request. Link in the description if you want to use it. Disclaimer, it's a paid product that I own. And now we can see the workflow finished running and it took care of all that pagination cursor stuff for us. Didn't have to write any code or waste any time. And I can see it made about 28 requests and got about 6,500 lists back from Twitter. So now I can finally open the CSV and I can sort this by the subscriber count. So I can only look at the popular lists and borrow the accounts that they curated from there. So while I could automatically create an aggregate list of lists by getting all the accounts and say the top 10% of those lists, I prefer to do it manually. So here I pasted in the most popular list uh, URLs and I just go to twitter.com slash the URL I found in my spreadsheet and I can take a look at some of these super popular lists that contain the dog account that I was interested in. And I can browse around and the ones I like I'll manually add to my list. Well, I hope you had fun and learned a lot about Twitter lists. Let me know in the comments what you plan on doing with this data or if there's other functionality you want me to cover. And another disclaimer, everything we covered here is only for the Twitter V1 API, which is currently migrating to the Twitter V2 API but V2 does not yet support Twitter lists, which is why I covered the V1. So by the time you're watching this, V2 may actually support Twitter lists, so please go and check. I will try to do another video on that in the future or update the description. Just leave something in the comments if this video is outdated and I'll eventually make a new one. Thank you so much for watching. Stay amazing, stay healthy, and stay data-driven.